What on earth is a squeeze page, a lead magnet, an OTO, a CR? Why does someone need to be indoctrinated and segmented and retargeted? Wait, when did copywriting start sounding like some top secret lingo? Well, if you want the insider guide to cracking the code of some of the most important copywriting terms, you are in the right place. Keep watching. Word up, posse, it's Alex, and if you wanna know how to become a copywriter, there are some pretty important definitions you gotta know before you get started. So you might be on a call with a potential client and they'll say, absolutely, great, we wanna work with you, we need you to write some new headlines for the squeeze page to improve the CR, to get more people to see the OTO, and then download the lead magnet. And you're like, cool, 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 cool. What? I have been in this world for a long time and sometimes I forget how darn confusing all the phraseology, terms, and TLAs, that's three letter acronyms, can be. It wasn't until some of my students in the Copy Posse Launchpad season one asked for some definitions of words that I've gotten so familiar with that I forgot they're actually super confusing if you're brand new to all of this. And that's when I realized, hey, you might need these too. So in this video, I'm defining 10 common copywriting and marketing terms you need to know to look legit and sound like a pro when you're talking to your clients and marketers on the job. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you've already learned some pretty key definitions and tutorials like how to write subject lines, sales page and hooks, how to identify your customer avatar and levels of customer awareness, and how to find your niche with my niche pyramid. But if you're like, wait, what? You might wanna stick around for more, so go ahead and hit subscribe below and then ring that bell to be notified of when my next video goes live. Every single week, I publish free tutorials, guides, and expert advice on everything copywriting, marketing, and branding. And of course, once you subscribe, I recommend you browse my library of videos so you can learn, write, and ignite your business with crazy good copy. All right, so back to this week's video. Here are 10 key copywriting terms you've gotta know before you become a copywriter. And there are hundreds more where these came from, guys, of course, so consider this glossary a quick roundup to give you a leg up in the world of copywriting. All right, term number one, squeeze page. No, it's not a teeny tiny little page. A squeeze page is a specific type of landing page solely designed to capture email addresses from potential subscribers. So instead of focusing on promoting a product, the intention is to squeeze the visitor into entering their email address, which in direct response marketing is one of the most valuable pieces of information you can get from a prospect. Now, if you're like, wait, what's the difference between a landing page, an opt-in page, and a squeeze page? Yeah, you're not alone. It can be a little confusing, so let me break it down for you. Landing pages are web pages that have a singular conversion focus, usually either to sign up or buy. Landing pages are called landing pages because it's where traffic lands on the site, although usually not organically. Landing pages are strategic pages often built for converting paid traffic. Now, opt-in pages are landing pages specifically used to get a prospect to sign up, so it might be to get a free guide, start a free trial, or register for a webinar. It's a broad term that applies to any page asking for user information, whether it be an email, phone number, name, or any other sort of data. Now, squeeze pages are a little bit different. They are short opt-in pages where the only obvious call to action is to sign up and enter your email address. So this often means there's no navigation or any other calls to action to distract the prospect from opting in. So think of it this way. All squeeze pages are opt-in pages. All opt-in pages are landing pages, but it doesn't work the other way around. Got it? So here's an example from digital marketing expert Neil Patel who gamified his squeeze page by using a spin to win plugin. You can clearly see that the only action here is to enter your email address to see what you win. All right, term number two, upsell. As a copywriter, you might get asked to write an upsell page. Now, on the marketing roadmap, upsell refers to an add-on offer that you present to a customer after the front-end purchase. So think of it as an upgrade that you want to offer your customers to enhance their experience with their brand and increase the average order value of their purchase. An upsell can be presented immediately after a purchase, like when you purchase a program online and then you're asked to join a membership community or sign up for exclusive coaching. An upsell can also happen sometime later after the initial front end purchase. So for example, an airline might offer you the opportunity to upgrade from economy to business class at a reduced price when you check in for your flight. 
Now, while an upsell offer is in fact a sales offer, they are written quite differently than a front-end sales page, and that is because the audience you're speaking to in an upsell has a very high level of customer awareness because they've already purchased from you. So less education and indoctrination needs to be done on the upsell page, and instead you can focus on adding more more access, more resources, more training, and more value. And of course, give them a reason to take action now and not later. All right, term number three, one-time offer or OTO. One form of a sales page is a one-time offer. This is a page that promotes a special offer that's available for, yes, one time only. This means that your prospect or customer only has one chance to redeem this offer right then and there. OTOs are most commonly used on opt-in thank you pages. So after signing up, prospects are presented with a special offer available on that page only. It's for this reason that OTOs have become synonymous with tripwire offer, the offer that people see immediately after walking in the door or signing up. For example, best-selling author Gabby Bernstein, who recently launched a 21-day meditation challenge, immediately presented customers who signed up with a one-time offer to join her Miracle Membership program at a special price. All right, term number four, retargeting. Have you ever gone to look at a pair of shoes you wanted online and then that pair of shoes followed you around the internet? Like literally everywhere you went? <laughs> Welcome to the world of retargeting. Retargeting, also known as remarketing, is a form of advertising that targets prospects who have previously engaged with your website or brand. Retargeting is based on the premise that it often takes multiple touch points with your brand or product to convince someone to buy from you. And when used correctly, these smart tactics can be very, very effective. I should know because I bought the shoes this morning. They get you every single time. Retargeting also allows you to use sequential and behavior-based ads in your marketing and copywriting. So a customer might see an ad to upgrade where a non-customer will see a compelling offer to buy. Or perhaps a series of ads shown in sequential order that tell a story and help overcome objections. All right, term number five, list segmentation. While retargeting is about marketing to a prospect or customer on the front end based on their interaction with a particular brand, list segmentation happens on the back end and refers to the grouping together of your subscribers based on specific criteria that can help you better understand and communicate with them. This grouping can be based on demographic, psychographic or geographic data, survey or quiz results, email engagement or specific actions they've taken, for example, purchasing, attending a masterclass, or subscribing for a free guide. For example, Campaign Monitor allows you to segment your audience based on gender. The more granular you get with your list segmentation, the more personalized and effective your messaging can be. The best marketing in the world is that which most accurately targets its viewers. The internet is changing fast and a one-size-fits-all copywriting approach is becoming less and less effective. I have said it before and I will say it again, the future of marketing is personalized, behavior-based, real-time communications. All right, term number six, risk reversal. It sounds like an insurance policy, but it's actually one of the most effective ways to overcome objections and boost conversions on your sales pages. In copywriting, risk reversal is commonly a statement of guarantee that assures your prospect that you will be the one to bear the risk of the purchase through either a refund, exchange, or return policy. Let's face it, most of us will subconsciously weigh the risk of making the wrong decision when it comes to buying something online. This acts as a massive barrier that will prevent your prospect from saying hell yes to your product. If your sales page doesn't give prospects the assurance to remove this barrier and create a sense of trust, you're likely gonna lose them forever. Your risk reversal statement should make the entire purchase process sound easy breezy and that it's totally okay if they decide to return or exchange your product. Here's an example from Mind Valley, one of the world's largest personal growth brands online. One of their sales offers says, get 10 days risk-free to try this program. Remember, you don't even have to say yes right now. You only have to say maybe. You have 10 days after the date of purchase to try this product and get a full refund sent to you. All right, term number seven, lead magnet. A lead magnet is a freebie or a preview of your product or service that incentivizes potential leads to subscribe to your email list and be part of your online community. It's the law of reciprocity at its finest. Sign up and in exchange, I'll give you something really valuable for free. A lead magnet could be a free ebook, a webinar, a trial, a quiz, and so much more. For example, Commune, a personal growth and spirituality learning platform that offers courses by household names like Deepak Chopra, Danielle Laporte, Dr. Mark Hyman, and Marianne Williamson offers a 14-day trial of all their courses totally free. 
Or here, Marie Forleo offers a free audio training in exchange for your email address. All right, term number eight, indoctrination sequence. An indoctrination sequence refers to the first few emails that you send to fresh leads to let them know who you are, what you do, and why they should stick around. Consider it the first step to building a relationship with your subscribers and connecting with them on an emotional level before you present them with an offer. So this is where you deliver your lead magnet and welcome your prospect to your brand. Let them know what to expect as a new member of your community, acknowledge why they're there and what you can do to help them, share your mission, then inspire them to take the next step. So for example, when you join the Copy Posse community, you'll get three emails from me. The first email you'll get in your inbox welcomes you to the baddest, raddest crew of copywriters on on the internet. The second email shares my mission to change the game of copywriting. And the third email sets expectations and shares how I can help you. To check out my indoctrination sequence, go ahead and join the Copy Posse email community by clicking the link in the description below. All right, term number nine, conversion rate. You may think your role as a copywriter ends as soon as you submit your copy. However, the best copywriters in the world don't Houdini on their clients after completing a project. They ask for conversion metrics so they can better understand how their copy is performing in the context of a marketing campaign. Conversion rate, or CR, refers to the percentage of visitors that take the desired call to action on your ad, landing page, or sales page. Remember that great copywriting both connects and converts. So getting conversion rate data from your clients will really help you see where you can improve your copy, get better over time, and build a mutually beneficial relationship with your clients. All right, now term number 10, cart abandonment email. A cart abandonment email is an email sent to a prospect after they left their shopping cart, but before making the purchase. GoDaddy reports that a whopping 69% of shoppers abandon their cart. That's crazy. A well-written cart abandonment email can recoup 30% of your lost customers, resulting in a 64% increase in revenue. Inside my copywriter coaching program, I teach an entire CART cart abandonment sequence framework, but even one cart abandonment email can be highly effective. The goal of this email is simple, to remind shoppers that the product they want is still waiting for them and available for purchase. Many businesses rely solely on a text-based email to do this, however, there are plenty of creative ways for you to tempt your prospects back to their shopping cart. For example, Reformation, a sustainable clothing brand, does this very, very well by sending prospects a cheeky email written from the product itself, along with a photo of the exact item they left in their cart. Don't play coy, we saw you checking us out. <laughs> All right guys, there you have it, 10 of the most important copywriting terms that you need to know to walk the talk and sound like a pro with your copywriting clients. Give me a thumbs up below if you learned something new this week, and if there are any other copywriting terms that are boggling your brains, comment below, let me know, I am happy to define them for you. Here are some videos for you to check out next. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I will see you next week with a brand new video. Until then, I'm Alex, ciao for now. A lead magnet is a freebie, 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 freebie.